The following will be general medical Q&A, lesson one, 120 words per minute for five minutes. Ready? Begin. Question. Dr. Feldman, are you a physician and surgeon licensed to practice medicine in the state of New York? Answer. I am since 1973. Question. And from what medical institution are you a graduate? Answer, University of New York Medical School. Question, and are you associated, doctor, with any hospitals? Answer, yes, Greenville and New York General. Question, and doctor, were you called in to render treatment to Ms. Anna K. Donner? Answer, yes on 9-29-87. Question, and where did you see the patient? Answer, I first saw the patient in the emergency room at New York General. It was between 9 and 9.30 p.m. Question, and will you describe the general condition of the patient, doctor? Answer, when I first saw the patient, her clothes were covered with sand and dirt. She was extremely pale grayish pale rather, and her face was discolored, especially the right side. The entire right face from the eye down to the chin. Her lips were bleeding, both the upper and the lower. She could not give me a history of an accident, you know, as she wasn't alert. She was in shock and she was semi-conscious, and her pu pulse was very feeble and slow. The first thing I advised was to get her to lie down because I realized she was in shock and I wanted to get her stabilized. We covered her with blankets and I administered some intravenous fluids. Any motion of her body was accompanied with moaning and pain. I further proceeded then to examine the patient. As I said, her face was discolored and swollen, especially the right side, and the lips were bleeding. She was missing some teeth, approximately six teeth in the lower jaw, and she was complaining of severe pain on the movement of her right hand. I knew at once it was a fracture because the hand, her right hand, was entirely motionless, and her legs, the anterior aspect of both legs, were lacerated, torn, and bleeding. We covered her up, as I said, to keep her warm, and I then administered some intravenous fluids. Then I left after giving a prescription for some analgesics, and I asked the nurse to notify me a few hours later as to her condition. The nurse notified me at about 2 o'clock at night that she was moaning. I mean, that morning. The patient was complaining more at that time than before of pain in the jaw and the right arm and the legs and the abdomen. I examined her again and gave her some analgesics for the pain. Then I left and told them I would be back in the morning. Next morning, the patient appeared a little improved. X-rays had been taken of her head, face, and her right arm. And we found that there was a condition there calling for a cast, namely a fracture of the right forearm, a coles fracture, a fracture of the radius and ulna. The radius is the bone that runs alongside the thumb and the ulna is the bone that runs alongside the little finger. I went back immediately to Ms. Donner's room. I put a cast on the right arm and changed her dressings, which were multiple. Her face, especially the lips, were very painful and lacerated, and from then on I saw her twice a day, usually in the morning and in the afternoon. In the next days, the pain became more severe. She was restless. She had very much difficulty 
in taking any food at all, even liquids, because of the lacerations of the lips. A dentist had been called in the dashes. That concludes 120 words per minute for five minutes. Lesson one, general medical Q&A.